My question that I'll be answering today is what exactly causes the ocean's currents? The entire cycle or flow of the ocean's currents is called the thermohaline circulation. The distribution of water gets its name by the two root words thermo meaning heat and haline meaning salt. It's pretty much self-explanatory. The circulation is caused by both salt levels and the heat of the water. It is also known as the ocean conveyor belt. This is because it mimics a conveyor belt by carrying warm and cold water around the different parts of our planet. Little do we know, these ocean currents affect our everyday lives. They affect our weather patterns, dictating how much precipitation we receive, as well as our temperatures. They propel El Nino and La Nina. These ocean currents also propel tropical storms and, and hurricanes. Now back to what actually energizes this conveyor belt, because those things can't run on their own. We all know that it is warmer by the equator and colder at the poles of the Earth. This is due to how intense the sun's radiation is at those points. This is one of the two factors that actually causes the ocean to move the way it does. Although it is a continuous cycle, one could argue that the starting point of all the currents begins in the North and South Pole, where the water is very cold. Since cold water is denser than warm water, the cold water is constantly fighting the hot water to sink below it. As the cold water sinks, it pushes the warm water up. This causes a circular type motion. Because all this motioning, motion is happening in the poles, the water has to have somewhere to move, so it goes towards other waters such as towards the equator. At the equator, the water is much, much warmer than the water coming in from the poles. The two temperatures collide and begin to switch around to find a way to level out the temperature. This increases the energy behind the conveyor belt, pushing on the water as it flows to the other parts of the world. The other main factor in causing the thermohaline circulation is just how salty the water is that we're talking about. Salinity is affected by multiple things, such as temperature. Near the equator, like I stated previously, it's much warmer here. Therefore, the evaporation rates are higher. The water is evaporated, yet the salt stays behind. The more salt in the water, the denser it is, which causes it to sink below the less salty water. This increases the circular transfer of sinking and rising water, thus increasing the global circulation of the water. In regions such as the poles, where there are glaciers and a decent amount of ice, the salt levels typically tend to be lower than the equator. This is because when the ice melts, it is adding fresh water to the salt water, thus decreasing the amount of salt per measurement of water. Again, this only further propels the thermohaline circulation. Other factors have slight impacts on the ocean's currents, such as the formation of the ocean floor and the wind patterns. In conclusion though, the two main factors that cause the ocean currents to move is the temperature and the salinity of the water. The thermohaline circulation is powerful and never stops. Water is not the only thing that is carried by this conveyor belt though. Everything that is in the ocean travels it. The tsunami that hit Japan in 2011 sucked up trash and the ocean conveyor belt actually spit things out, such as small fishing boats and other pieces of wreckage, all the way on the north coast of California. This just goes to show how strong and consistent the current actually is.